Who did he say the witness is? While he was away, she set something up, something that he would see on his return, something that would prove or at least point to her innocence. I think that's pushing it a bit, Mr. Haynes. Perhaps, but I do think you should recheck his statement. We don't want one of our witnesses supplying Shirelle with an alibi now, do we? Look, I can always re-interview the night watchman. Do it. Okay. She will not walk away from this one, Ms. Leveson. I have no intention of allowing her to do anything of the sort, Mr. Haynes. I will prove premeditated murder. And to do that, I need to know everything about the kidnapping. The series of events could be crucial. Do you have time to go over it now? Certainly. Okay, we'll take it from the very beginning. I have your initial statement here. I've just got a few details that I need clearing up. Hey, do. Um, hey, how's it doing? Okay, cool. Look, we had a chat with Barker Haynes, okay? So he's given us your theory about the night watchman. So I went to go and interview the Oak, but there's nothing there, man. I reckon he's going to be a safe witness. That was just a thought. Sir de Villazan's got something. Either that or she's turned someone. Or bribed someone? All she needs is a witness to say that they saw Duncan Haynes coming after her. They can't bring any witness on us now. No, but she may have been able to bribe one of the existing witnesses to change her story. Between her and Duval. Come, let's go back over the witness list. Look, all this evidence becomes null and void. We now don't have to prove she did it. And we now have the burden of proving that she committed premeditated murder and did not act in self-defense. And as there were no witnesses to the crime, she can spin just about any story she wants. What does that mean? Well, it all comes down to whether the magistrate believes her story or not. The state will prove that Duncan Haynes was not killed in self-defense, as claimed by opposing counsel. The accused has been charged with murder, and the state will prove that Cheryl de Villiers Haynes is guilty as charged. By virtue of her plea, the accused now admits to killing Duncan Haynes, supposedly in self-defense. The state will prove beyond a reasonable doubt that her actions were premeditated and she therefore committed murder. Before Duncan Haynes was murdered, he was kidnapped. Kidnapping by its very nature is not something that can be done on the spur of the moment. It requires intricate planning. It always requires extortion of money by means of a death threat. And it requires motive. This kidnapping was a callously executed plan to extort money from Duncan Haynes' father. And what makes this crime even the more heinous is the shocking fact that the perpetrator is actually part of the victim's family. The state will prove that Sherelle de Villiers Haynes planned the kidnapping of Duncan Haynes. Moreover, we will also prove that his murder was part of the plan from the very beginning. The state calls its first witness. Mr. Leon Duplessis. Help me, God. Mr. Duplessis, you were the investigating officer on this case. That's correct. Could you clarify to the bench how um, Mr. Duplessis could have been the investigating officer? Until recently, Mr. Duplessis worked for the South African Police Service, Your Worship, as a detective inspector. Oh, really? I resigned last week, Your Worship. It was for personal reasons. His resignation has no bearing on this case. By the way, please proceed. Is it correct that you worked on this case from the time of the deceased's disappearance up until the arrest of the accused? That's correct. So that was about two years? Yeah, Duncan Haynes disappeared on the 21st of March, 2003. That was the day that he was kidnapped. We can only speculate on the exact time of his murder. It would have been between the 21st of March and the 4th of April. 2003. That's right. What is the significance of April the 4th? That was the day that the accused sent a photograph of the dead body of Duncan Haynes to the Haynes family. Objection. There's no evidence that my client did any such thing. Sustain. Please rephrase that. That was the day the kidnapper sent the photograph. That is correct. So the kidnapper may have held Duncan for two weeks before murdering him. Hmm. Would you tell the court how you came to arrest Mrs. Sherelle de Villiers Haynes? Did she hand herself into the police? No, she didn't. We investigated for two years. On the night of the 21st of March, Mrs. Haynes was supposed to meet Duncan Haynes at her deep cold office on the mines. They were going to drive through together to the Haynes residence in Johannesburg. The accused says that Mr. Duncan Haynes never arrived. Was the accused a suspect at the time? Yes, she was. We just didn't have enough conclusive evidence to link her to the crime. 
And when did that breakthrough come? When Horizon Deep decided to open up an